work it, make it, do it, make sense. Welcome to this private quickie session. <laughs> Um, my name is Olga, I'm working as software engineer at Sentia and today I will talk about JavaScript based framework called DXCJS. So this track is called Modern Web and I will be talking about Modern Web for Enterprises. Uh, so you may wonder why, what is, uh, what is the difference, what is the point? Uh, and the point is that enterprises have a bit different requirement for web application development. They would need to develop fast, complex, business-critical applications that have to be alive for several years. So every word in this definition is important and I would like to explain them shortly. What means fast? Fast means that to be competitive, enterprises have to shorten time to market as well as um, release time for every new version of their application. What makes application complex? Application is complex when it has many modules, sub-modules, hundreds or even thousands of user stories, many years of development and huge code base. And uh, what makes application business critical? Business critical is an enterprise application that have to be stable and reliable and suit change in business requirements. It's very often when um, business critical applications need to handle huge data sets, huge business data sets, so be very data intensive. And also here we could uh, talk about product development versus application development. Enterprises have to define all process of uh, new application release, how it will be delivered, plan it, schedule it. So here it's more like delivering of product versus delivering just web application. And application should be alive for several years. So it should be easy maintainable, easy scalable, should follow all new modern techniques, specification standards, uh, and should work with all new browsers and devices. You could not lose users that installed the latest version of Chrome, for example. And uh, Sentia suits perfectly to this enterprise requirement because it provides a framework, JavaScript framework, and all tools around it that let you rapidly build intensive cross-platform enterprise web applications. So um, framework called ext.js, it's a really mature framework, more than 10 years old, and for web development it's huge life. Um, long life and uh, today's release uh, day, release day for version 6.5 and how ExeJS could help to handle this um, business requirement, enterprise business requirement. ExeJS has a huge amount of robust built-in components optimized to work with huge data sets. To handle these huge data sets, we have an advanced data package that could be configured to communicate with server using different protocol, receive data in different format, and it could be basically uh, integrated with any backend or database. It's completely cross-platform framework, so uh, it supports all browsers from modern one down to Internet Explorer 8 and 9, and in enterprises it could be critical to support legacy browsers uh, because of security reasons they could not just upgrade. And um, you could really develop one application with one code base and cover all devices, desktops, tablets, and smartphones. And we have advanced class system and architectural patterns that let you make your application more scalable and maintainable. Uh, Seeming of XTJS application is extremely easy, uh, so it will look like changing some parameters like uh, fonts, colors in a graphical UI. Uh, there is also a lot of tools around framework that allows you to uh, build, debug, uh, inspect, uh, test, and sim your application. And what is really hot now, we also support modern web features like uh, a progressive web app or new versions of ECMAScript. So, um, biggest advantage of ext.js is robust components. It has almost everything that you may imagine. Grids, trees, tree grids, pivot grids, charts, calendars, dashboards, and uh, all other components. 
And I would like to show you just a couple of examples in real time. Okay, looks good. Uh, it's a grid. Uh, so we have um, buffered grid when you um, have a huge data set, you could not just render uh, all data in a browser in a grid. Uh, you could not, for example, have one million records in a, any table. And what we are doing, we support buffer rendering, so part of a data rendered at this time, and when I start scrolling like this, new data will be received uh, from server, requested from server, received from server, and rendered. So, uh, and old data that is not visible somewhere from here will be removed from a DOOM. So uh, DOOM model is always small and stable. We also support grouping, filtering, sorting, um, like locking some col columns on the left side and scroll on the right side, um, column widget, row widget, so you could basically insert any widget inside of row body. Um, yeah, all other stuff, and you could also export all data into Excel with formatting. And the trick part is uh, this one is normal desktop grid. And if I would change um, device to iPad, for example, uh, just make it smaller, and we'll refresh a page, and increase, of course, size. Yeah, like this. Refresh. So we have an iPad view. Um, so our grid, we have the same grid, but uh, it's adjusted to iPad view. I guess 100% will be better. And it supports all look and feel of a tablet uh, application. Like momentum scrolling, you could scroll your application. Uh, all widgets are the same, uh, row widget, uh, column widget, check boxes, also sorting grouping, uh, like show some uh, columns or hide some columns, group basis fields, for example. Yeah, I guess ideas uh, run uh, column to group by, <laughs> but in any, any case, um, you, it's a grid component and another component that I wanted to show you, it's calendar component. Uh, you could uh, drag and drop different events for example, have different calendars configured, uh, could have months, week, work week, or day view. You could also uh, validate if uh, some um, events could overlap or it's not allowed, depending on your business uh, rules. So, back. Uh, all components are perfectly compatible to each other. You could integrate them as you want. They're optimized to work with huge data sets. If you are interested, you, I could show you a grid with one million rows, and uh, they could be easily customized. As I said, you could uh, really develop one application, single code base, and cover all devices. But of course, you could have different views for different devices. Here I show you, uh, showed you a grid. So grid is, could be for tablets, could be for desktops. But for example, if you would have the same application for phones, you would use list instead of grid, because it's easier for phones. You could also have completely different uh, builds for different devices. At the uh, runtime, um, framework will detect device and serve only needed code for this device. And uh, like common techniques like responsive design are also supported. You could use them. And we have all uh, classes that will need it for managing data, like models, stores, fields with different types. You could use um, different proxies to communicate with server using uh, AJAX, uh, JSONP, uh, REST API, and others, readers and writers to read data from JSON, XML, array, and you could basically configure your own reader 
that will uh, get data from any any possible um, in any possible format. Uh, associations, it's like uh, one to one, one to many, many to many association. In, if you have internal dependencies in the data, validators to handle data constraints, uh, create, update, destroy operations could be benched together into session for package data manipulation to handle transactions, for example. Um, architectural pattern. So EXTGS help you to organize clean code separation. You could use um, different patterns like model view, view model, model view controller to separate your code and it could be really ex extremely important for complex enterprise applications, not like just a simple calculator or, I don't know, stock exchange. Uh, and you could also use data binding to simplify source code of your application two-way data binding with formulas is also supported. Simon. So Simon of uh, EXTJS application uh, is based on SAS, syntactically awesome CSS, so CSS with variables or some additional um, like mixins. Um, we have several predefined SIMs like material design SIM, iOS SIM, but you could uh, extend them and um, configure them in a graphical interface, change a SIM or just in, uh, uh, change variables, change colors for buttons, for grid headers, uh, background colors, etc. And we also provide a JavaScript based SAS compiler called Fashion that could compile SAS into CSS directly in a browser and uh, you could seam your application without page reload, just change some variables and in the browser uh, SAS Fashion will compile SAS into CSS and you will see all changes. So runtime seeming. Tooling, as I said, there is not only just framework but also other tools around that could increase your development speed or improve application uh, quality. Essential command allows you to build, minimize application. Architect, it's a special tool that let you develop your application just by drag and drop and dropping uh, different components to the canvas, configuring them, and uh, it will generate all code for you. You could also use different plugins for your favorite IDEs that will allow you to generate code, do code auto-completion, uh, refactoring of your code. Inspector allows you to inspect and debug EXTJS application. Simmerite told you, and also we have a tool that uh, help you to create unit and end-to-end -end tests for your application, as well as uh, like special event recorder when you record tests based on user interaction. Okay, and uh, what is uh, now very popular, we support ECMAScript, the new versions of ECMAScript 6, and we support progressive web app features like, um, that allows you, your web application look and behave like a native application. For example, uh, start run your application from an icon at home screen or support offline mode using service workers. And all these features could be um, supported just by some configurations. You do not need to manually code your service workers. You just tell that this uh, parts of application should be cached and everything will be done for you. So it's really a complete framework. It includes basically everything that you may need to develop application class system, data package layouts, data binding, area support, um, routers, charts, uh, seams, touch devices support, etc. And it's really fast and uh, stable framework, very well tested. We run about 10,000 automated tests every day. And another news, uh, in the nearest time, we are going to release, um, um, make our components available for React and Angular users. So it will be separate products uh, called EXT React and EXT Angular, uh, component library that will include all EXTJS components, and uh, these components could be natively used in React or um, Angular application. So React, um, EXT React will be released next week, and Angular part will be released a bit later. So, uh, just summary, who is using Sentry? We have about uh, 10,000 customers. 
2 million developers, uh, more than 7 million product downloads, and half million active forum members. And uh, there is just customers, just to give an idea what kind of uh, companies are using XCGS. So that's all. I, I have uh, one and a half minute for questions, so if you have some I could answer, otherwise uh, just come to our booth. It's uh, just near lunch place, <laughs> so we could talk and I could show you more components, visualization components, so really huge grids. Thank you.